three nil win today. Tell me about the result and the performance. What did you think of them? Um, results really good, outstanding, and uh, and the performance um, I think just as good. And yeah, we we leave uh, we lo we leave Turf more with a with another smile and um, and and yeah, this cape this, this place keeps delivering for us. Two more for Nathan, so I think that's 16 for him now this season. But what about the timing of that early goal? What difference did that make to the general mood? Um, no, I, I, look, I, I think we we started off exactly how we... It, it could have been anyone scoring the first goal because we, we started off so well. And uh, and Nathan just got that momentum now where um, everything he do, does seems to come off. And um, it's good for us that he scored the goal, but obviously, you know, we're, we're also happy that, that again we got to share some goals um, in terms of Lyle Foster coming in and scoring his first goal. Uh, but I'm happy for Nathan and for the team. What impact did the sending off have on the match? Yeah, I mean, it, it always has an impact. I think, especially what the team is able to do when they when they recover the ball, when they have the ball as well. So um, I think the threat normally diminishes a little bit, but you know we gave well they they managed to still get two clear chances, and 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 they were the only chances. But but if I'm being hypercritical, I think you know um, what we did in the second half was much better in terms of controlling the game and 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 creating ourselves rather than towards the end of the first half. But it never makes it that much easier. So let's start with the results and the performance. What did you think of it? Well, first of all, I think that we played a very good game today. We were very dominant in everything, in, er in every phase of play. And watching the game from the bench, I could see that the boys were exerting themselves well. And um, Yeah, we came inside with a game plan. And I think the early goal helped us as well. And progressing through that, it was, it was very good for us today. So as you say, watching it for the goals from Nathan, at yeah. least, anyway. Took yeah. 16 for him this season. As a teammate, what do you think? of how he's done so far. Yeah, definitely me coming in is, is one of the players that I look to, how he prepares, how he, he organises himself before a game. And um, yeah, I learned from him as well. And I think he's having a very good season, all credit to him. And um, yeah, I think we, we should just continue going and uh, reach for more goals and more and more points. Let's talk about you then. Yeah. On your can, your first goal in a Burnley shirt. Talk us, talk us through what you remember of the goal, at least. Um, the celebration, to be fair. Um, yeah, no, I just remember coming on. Um, I had a chance earlier where I turned and shot and just went a bit wide and I was kind of thinking to myself when the first one would come and um, I saw Anna spray the ball over to, to Oba and it dropped nicely and I just thought let me hit it as hard as I could and luckily for me it went in the back of the net. So, yeah, very happy to get the first goal but um, it's just a start and I need to work hard to continue pushing for more. When it did hit the back of the net though, how yeah. did you feel? Pure joy, pure joy. Just finally happy that it went in. Happy to celebrate with the crowd at Turf Moor and feel the love and, and joy from my teammates. So, perfect, perfect day for me. <laughs> Your dad here, he yeah. has been here for the last few weeks or so, hasn't yeah. he? And family back home, who have you spoken to so far? I've spoken to my girlfriend, Casey, my mother, Taryn, and my sister, Tyra, and my dad's obviously in the stadium. So, a uh, lovely day again to share this moment with him and the rest of my family and friends back home who are watching the game as well. So, yeah, good day for me. <laughs> Very good day. Just in general, I know we've had a couple of chats since you've come in anyway, yeah. but just tell us how you have felt so far in your early moments of your Burnley career. How's it been? Um, I feel very welcome. I feel as though it's a very hard-working team and um, a team with a great attitude. And for me coming in, it's it's been a very easy adjustment on, off the field. Um, the people are very lovely to work with. Everyone's very kind. And on the field, everyone is motivating you and pushing you. So... That's a big positive that um, I came into the group and I was immediately accepted as one of the guys. So for me, it makes it a lot easier to in the working environment and yeah, just enjoying it, enjoying every moment. Nathan, 3-0 uh, win. I've asked everybody this in terms of obviously it looks great on paper. Did that reflect the game, do you think? Um, I'd like to say yeah. Um, obviously, we knew that they were going to come out and make it difficult for us. We worked... Um, Obviously, during the week on how we thought they were going to set up and the, the movements on and off the ball we needed to make. And it worked really well today. And obviously, once I got the red card, I felt like the game just opened up for us even more and probably could have had more. Early goal for you within the first quarter of an hour. How Did that make a difference as well? I think it always makes a difference. I think as a team, who you, you know, always have possession and teams like to sit off us because they know they can't get the ball. As soon as we score early in the game, you know that like the opposition have to come out and that goes to our strengths even more. You can see that 
when obviously when I scored, the team, the Wigan team was trying to get out more and put more pressure, press under more pressure, and that gave us more space in my hand. When you got players like Anas and Vitinho on either side, you can beat them out one v one. It's just a joy for for all of us to be involved in. And after the game last weekend as well, a team in a similar position at, at the bottom of the league and coming away with just a the point. There was that in the back of your minds going in today. No, I think as a team we're very good at just putting the past behind us. We just sort of knew where we um, went wrong. Well, not went, went wrong, but we knew what we should have done better. And then it just was about um, going on the pitch and trying to do it better in training and then hopefully taking what we did in training into the game. And credit to the boys, we all did. I think that's 16 for you now this season in a Burnley shirt. Your manager says it's that sort of the confidence and the momentum that you're getting from that. Are you feeling that as well? Uh, yeah, I do. I do feel really confident in front of goal. But then again, I think when you've got a team like this who can create chances and kill people with just the amount of passes we play and slide players in, I feel like I was always going to have opportunities to score. And thankfully today, I was able to get two and another day I could have had a hat-trick. But happy enough we got the win and now I'm just onto the game on Wednesday. When we come here, and I know we talk about targets and what you might want to achieve, but in terms of 16 goals, was that in your mind? Did you ever set a goal target? Yeah. 10. Right, OK. <laughs> and I felt like that was even a bit far, far, far fetched. But I think I'd, I'd realised that this team, the way we play, we're going to create so many chances. So I think probably by October, November, just before the World Cup, I just was like, I need to change this target. And obviously I kept a mental note that I was changing it. But whenever people asked me, I was always saying, yeah, it's 10, it's 10. But in my head, this was, was going to be higher than that. So. Is it still higher than you've got at the moment? <laughs> no, I have to change it again. <laughs> 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 well, no, it's, honestly, it's just a joy to play with these boys and they've, they've, they've taken me in really well and I've, I feel like I've just learned so much from obviously the manager and the way we play and as well feeling welcomed by the boys as well, so it's been really great.